guys, we are converting this Model A four banger uh, to Petronix, and I wanted to highlight something that's really important. When you go to Petronix, you need to run a coil and spark plug wires that all match for that setup. You can't use your old wires, and you can't use just whatever coil. Now, this Petronix setup, um, for in order for all the ignition to match, we need a 3.0 3 to 3.5 resistance coil. Uh, so whenever I put a new distributor in, I put a new coil in, no matter what coil is in the car. Anyways, if you're going to refresh it, might as well refresh it all. It's only like 20, 30 bucks more. Um, but I'm going to show you how to test these to make sure that they're accurate. It's really simple. So, All right, so ignore my little messy workbench here. It's just a throw out workbench so I can keep things moving while I'm working all around the garage. But it's important that we have the right coil to match Petronix. This particular Petronix recommends a 3.0 to 3.5 resistance uh, ohm coil. And we're gonna make sure that's what we have. So I got my ohm meter on, positive to positive, negative to negative here. We're gonna check it. Okay, this one's saying it's a 3.1. It is rated to be a 3.0 which is it's close enough that, that yes it's a 3.0 3.1 pretty close um i slipped off of it and put it back on it's just 3.1 again so that's good so when we put this coil on we know we're good to go as far as these little extra terminal things here on a model a we're not going to use this uh and it's also important if you're going to be running these upside down guys so you get the epoxy filled coil this coil and the distributor is from vintage auto garage uh, I know I say them a lot in my videos, but that's because I like quality and I like small business. They are both. Uh, so get you an epoxy filled coil. This is so much better. So this coil is good to go with this Petronix. And we're not going to blow anything up. When we mix match this kind of stuff, that's when you get reliability issues. You burn up your Petronix, you burn up something you don't want to burn up. This is the old coil that was in it. Every time I replace a distributor, I always just put a brand new coil in it. I mean, we're talking like 20, 30 bucks to make the whole system fresh and ready to go. Um, so let's just check the old coil and see what it has for resistance. And it's saying 1.2, so that is huge difference. That would not work, even though this engine was running with this coil, this coil would burn up our Petronix setup. So always test your coils, make sure they are right Test them when they're old. Make sure the resistance hasn't changed to the point where it can jeopardize other things in the ignition system. So uh, head over to the Wired Customs YouTube channel. Check us out. We've got a lot of good information and stuff like this. So see you guys next time.